What's happening everybody? I was uh, just just getting my gun set up here with the primer for this 4020 project. Figured I better do a video here on on this step. Uh, so I got power washed, steam cleaned, got all the sand off of it from the, the dustless plaster and then scuffed it all with a, a 3M scuffing pad, blew it off, uh, it's been sitting in here with the dehumidifier running for uh, two days or a day, day and a half now, and uh, I've had the, the air conditioner running in here, it's like 90 some degrees outside, but just to take the humidity out. Um, so now whenever I spray paint, this is the this is the exhaust fan. So you put furnace filters in there so you don't paint the outside of the building. And then those two vents there and there are my fresh air, my intake air. So that gets you your your downdraft. Um, I haven't painted in so long. It took me a while to get all the moisture out of my air compressor. It sits up there on the other side on the loft to get it, get the air or the water out of it. And then, then my regulator for paintings here goes through a, a sharp uh, water separator. And then this is a desiccant dryer. I just took it apart, put new desiccant in there. Uh, there's still, you know, it flash rust rusted a little bit which that's fine it's mainly on the cast iron parts because when you're down to bare metal you you use an etch an etching primer um, this is this is what I use that kind of it it bites into the steel on on bare metal because uh, paint won't stick doesn't bond to bare metal so with the, the etch primer I use, it's one to one. So when you when you mix it, you know if you put eight ounces of primer in there, then you put eight ounces of the, the etch primer reducer. My primer gun is a 3M setup. It's uh, they call it the. PPS system, so you just have these these throwaway uh, cup liners, and then there's a the lid that goes on them. So you just mix up your paint, put one of those liners in here, put the lid on, tighten that up, and it just snaps right into the gun. It's real nice for, for when you're cleaning stuff up. You don't have to clean a cup up or any of that. You just gotta clean your gun. If you paint even a little bit, this thing came from Harbor Freight. Here's the part number. It works great. I mean, for what it costs, instead of sitting and stirring a gallon of paint forever, just put it in there and hook the air hose up to it. Good to go. So I spray uh, two coats. This stuff dries fast. Uh, spray a coat and you can almost start right over at the beginning again um, immediately. I spray two coats and then I let it, you gotta let it sit for, I mean, eight hours or so, I can't remember. It depends on the temperature. I'd have to look at the can, but so I'll spray the primer and then I'll, I'll just spray paint the black on the axles so I can tape them off. Then the next thing will be the yellow, the center cast and the, the front hubs so I can spray them and tape them off. And then like tomorrow I'll spray all the green. So. That's where we're at. Get my uh, 
all my side lights and stuff turned on here. Not that it really matters with the spray and primer. There's, that's not the light switch, that's the fan. Um, this fan is, it, exhaust fan is so powerful. When you turn it on, it'll, it'll suck the garage door in on the tracks. You hear the door just go boom. But uh, I'll uh, I'll get to going here, and uh, I'll show you once uh, once it's primed. What I what I use for a respirator, I'll show you. I use one of these. It's called Breathe Cool. Uh, so you got a hose hooked to that, and then this hose will all stretch into the paint booth. You can either put that outside. I put it right there and crack crack the garage door, like that door's cracked over there, because my paint booth's drawing air through here anyway. So I know I know I'm getting clean air or fresh air. Um and then that, that hose hooks up, hooks up to this. So you just, you get fresh air. It works really good. About the safest way I've found. I don't like those cartridge, cartridge uh, respirators. I mean, they work, but. All right, I'll bring it back whenever she's primed. All right, there you go. Two coats of etch, etch primer sprayed on it. Went on good, no no problems. Got the uh, the air conditioner turned back on. Big barn fan running to dry it, dry it down and. Uh, like I said, after a couple hours here, I'll I'll spray paint the black on the axles, and then maybe later on tonight I'll spray the yellow on the cast and the front hubs. That the etch primer just really it really bites into like that cast iron and everything and gives it a really good foundation for the paint to stick to so that's that here I'll show you how easy it is with this uh, 3m system when you're done you just pull pull that out of your cup you don't have to clean that thing and then the, the tip for this spray gun, you just like push two tabs in. Black tab on each side. And then I just put it in some lacquer for a minute and take a take a spray gun cleaning brush and and clean that the needle right there and this area here by my where my finger is. <clears throat> And then this is the gun that I spray the paint with. I must have sprayed some white last time and not cleaned it up real good. So I'm gonna I'm gonna take my sharp gun apart and clean it. And I'll bring you back whenever there's more progress. Uh, the green that we're spraying on this tractor, I'm not using John Deere green. I'm using um, urethane. This is good paint, nascent, nascent full thane is what it's called, urethane paint. So you got your activator, your uh, hardener or accelerator, and uh, your paint. And there's a special mixing procedure on this stuff. I'll show it whenever I mix it, but uh, yeah, so. Three parts of uh, paint, 
to one part of catalyst and then so you use uh, four ounces of the accelerator for a whole gallon but I'll go through that later so at least it's primed for now we'll uh, we'll move forward here all right it's the same day it's just uh, it's like five five or five thirty at night right now so after lunch I sprayed spray painted the black on the, the axles let that sit and dry all afternoon so I've got them masked off now so we can spray the yellow as far as so I'm just using John Deere paint here the way I thin John Deere paint I don't use John Deere's paint thinner it takes forever to dry so I use automotive reducer moderate like medium reducer for the temperature outside um, I kind of do it's hard for me to explain how I I don't have like an exact ratio so here I put I put 16 ounces of yellow paint in then I added four ounces of reducer and then I stir it up until I get the right consistency like how it, how it comes off the end of the stirring stick I kind of judge judge how thin I want it and then I use this hardener um, so one pint will do a gallon so like if you were mixing a quart you put four ounces of this in or you can do the math that way but I haven't put the hardener in yet and I uh, get this stirred up and uh, get the hardener in it I'll spray the yellow see ya what's up it's hot picked a hot day to to spray paint but uh, I'll see what uh, what what I got done today primer and the axles are axle shafts are black got the yellow sprayed so tomorrow morning uh, all the yellow will get masked off and spray the spray the green when you're spraying something like this with the so when I'm spraying the green paint I'll start with like all the the crap underneath I as long as you can get one good coat on all that stuff underneath I call it good but I start with with the underneath and the stuff you need to get up on a like a step ladder to to hit I'll do all the top of the motor and stuff and then then I'll start on the frame rails and the engine and whatnot, but I'll also paint, I'll scuff this and just do a quick clean out of the cobwebs and everything underneath the hood and I'll, I'll spray the bottom side of the hood, that's why I taped all these holes from the top side so I don't get a bunch of overspray blowing, blowing out through the top and then this this hood will get wet sanded before it gets painted the top side of it but just finishing up for the night cleaning my finishing up cleaning my gun up and that's about it it's been a long day let me uh let me show you something else. You want to test how good your marriage is? So I'm not a carpenter at all. Don't claim to be one, don't want to be one, but see the garden shed way over there with the, the unpainted sidewalls on it? 
Well, they were all rotten on the bottom because that didn't have gutters on it. And whenever our roof just our roof and gutters just got replaced, they re-roofed the garden shed and put gutters on it for me. Um, I told Mrs. G that I think we could replace those sidewalls, so I went to Menards and got the you know the tongue and groove shed siding four by eight sheets. Yesterday, Mrs. G and the boys ripped all the uh, sidewalls off. I I helped get them started, and then uh, I had to go spray. And then today, me and Mrs. G and Jack recited uh, both sides of that shed while in between me spraying paint here. Yeah, when it's 90 degrees out and you're arguing back and forth with your wife and she ended up with a nail through her foot. Yeah, but the shed looks great. A-OK, -okay. and I'm still married. So I'm going to have to look to see how much I have for clips here, but uh, I may have to split this into to two videos. We'll do the spray and the the green maybe in a second video if so thanks for watching guys uh tomorrow tomorrow's friday i think we're gonna go pick up that other uh piece of farm equipment that i bought probably be a video on that bringing it home so oh and i i did make a skid steer purchase not the not the one i was demoing that's all I'm going to say. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll talk to you later. Have a good one.